Many Japanese manufacturing companies and universities are developing robots that will help make life easier for humans. So much so that many believe robots may become indispensable for many of us in the future. Japan has been considered as one of the country's most advanced in technology of developing industrial robots. However, there has been not many opportunities for Japan to display its service robots. And for the first time here at this exhibit, service robots are being featured. Many of those featured here at the Japan Robot Week are for the healthcare industry. This cute robot is already used in hospitals. It can relay a patient's message to the nurse's station, accompany patients, and take shopping orders. This robotic bed allows patients to move themselves onto a wheelchair without external help. In factories, robots are being developed to tackle the growing problem of a shrinking labor force. And since the nuclear accident in Japan last year, robots are increasingly being used for a natural disaster situation. This robot is called Quince. It's gained fame last June since it entered the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant two reactors. What it could do is, with its camera, collect data, use its thermometer and hygrometer. However, in October last year, it got stuck inside one of the reactors. It's because its cable snapped. And since, new versions of the Quince have been developed. あの、地下っていうのは非常に狭いんですね。あの、地上部分は階段が90センチ。でも地下の部分は70センチ。しかもその踊り場って向きを変えるところも70センチ。ですから今までのクイーンスっていうロボットでは降りていっても向きが変え